Coming straight out of Fitzroy today. What's going on? We're a little bit peckish in the area. Gonna pop on in and see what all the fuss is about with Sir Charles. Fish pump. G'day sir, my name's Eddie. Here we are at Sir Charles. Just here on a nice sunny morning in June, having some breakfast. Here we've got our famous uh, Eggs Benedict on roti with bacon and a sriracha hollandaise. Waffle dish, our eating mess waffles. It has evolved over this year. We've had it on from the menu for about six months now. As the seasons have changed, we used to have you know, a few different fruits on there. Try and match the meringues with the fruits, make it as bright as possible. With a lot of our dishes, we really try and make them, make them available for vegetarians, vegans. Celiac, so you know we have a vegetarian Benedict. So just having something for everybody, and also with a nice modern Asian twist on a few things. We've just started uh, this year developing our own roasting, so that's all sort of up and going now, which is really exciting. So we've got a few guys on the team really pushing to get some good product out, and that's going really well. Some wide open venue, full of detail, really inviting for large groups, small couples, or even if you want to come in and chill out by yourself. Whether you want to grab some sort of treat from the display cabinet if you're in a hurry or one of their tasty coffees, or enjoy the beautiful atmosphere. Now they like to do things a little bit differently here with all the classic Melbourne breakfast and brunch dishes with their own little spin. Right here in front, we've got their waffles, the Eton Mess waffle. Now it's filled with color, really tying in with the aesthetic of Melbourne's graffiti. And here we have the Eggs Benedict. Now the Sir Charles Eggs Benny is panko crumbed eggs, delicious crispy bacon, sriracha hollandaise served on a bed of rotti. Now it almost seems like Sir Charles version of the waffles here really reflects the colorful streets of Fitzroy. You need to come and give these guys a go. Coffee on point, food on point, and atmosphere on point.